Tonight, a story about two firefighters in Adams, which is about 45 minutes south of Lincoln. Both of them recovering from different injuries. New at 10, Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Katrina Spurl joins us with their stories. Two volunteer firefighters here in Adams recently made it back to the team. Even dealing with some serious injuries, their dedication to Adams was much more important to them. Doug Party has worked for the Adams Volunteer Fire Department for 27 years. This past year, he was working on a grain bin when his leg got entangled in an auger. He instantly tied his t-shirt around his leg. The biggest fear was, was not knowing when somebody would, would show up initially. Doug did not have a cell phone on him and someone from the Volunteer Fire Department just happened to stop by. Nearly five to ten minutes after the incident, doctors ended up amputating his leg. I elevated my leg. To, to keep it and so I really feel that being on the fire and rescue department probably ended up saving my life. Doug knew a big part of being with the small town fire department, your odds of knowing everyone you help is very high. And that's where Jack Schuster enters the story. That's just hard, you know, to talk about. It's not the easiest thing to go through and think about. Before Doug had his accident, he was on scene when Jacob was involved in a serious car accident. During the six months he was at the hospital, he had 14 surgeries. He was told he wasn't going to be able to walk without a cane, but started to heal faster than anyone thought he could. He made sure he was healthy as he could be for his wedding. I wanted to, I wanted to be able to dance with my wife like I danced before, because I can swing dance and line dance and do all that stuff. So, And I danced with my wife at my wedding. It was pretty awesome. And just to get there was cool. Jacob was so inspired by the Adams Volunteer Fire Department saving his life that he decided to join them, being a part of saving other people's lives. It's just incredible that he can walk and I mean he's just getting stronger daily also and so that he is, I'm very proud that, that people see the, the appreciation for for things like that and then are wanting to come back and help others. Doug says he'll help the department as much as he can and tell his story of never giving up. If I can just be an eye back there or be safety training officer, things like that, just to make sure that they're doing things correctly and that that uh, just some support. They were there in, in my time and need and I wanted to make sure that they say, I mean, there's nothing that can slow a person down. Both Doug and Jacob say being in a small town makes all the difference. Everybody in this town knows me from growing up here, working on their cars. All the farmers call my cell phone. Or they'll call a shop, usually my cell phone. You know, and I'm just, you know, it's just awesome. It really is. I would never want to live in a different town. When a nearby town or village has a volunteer fire department, some people may hesitate to call 911. They want to let everyone know that this is why they do what they do, trying to help and make a difference. Reporting in Adams, Katrina Spurl, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.